Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about Road Work, the third book that Stephen King published under the pseudonym Richard Bachman, this time in early 1981. We'll be showing you what to look for when trying to identify first US and first UK editions of the book. Hey everyone, so today we're going to take a look at the first US edition of Road Work. Uh, this book was originally uh, published in 1981 as a mass market paperback original, um, of course by Signet, and uh, this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, so uh, Roadwork is uh, probably <laughs> my least favorite Bachman book by far, by far, and probably one of the three worst Stephen King novels of all time, in my opinion. Then again, I haven't read this since I was in high school uh, in the mid 80s, so it's been a long time. Uh, maybe if I read it as an adult, I would like it more, but I remember thinking it blew chunks and I have no interest in reading it again. So uh, that's what the book looked like. Um, I don't recall whether this had more than one printing, but if you want to make sure, uh, the copyright page will have a number line that goes all the way down to one. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to, to look for to see whether your copy is a first printing or not. Road work, uh, not much else to say about this um, other than it blew <laughs> as, a, as a novel. But the book itself, um, not not the best artwork on the front. It didn't really hold up. at su a super dated looking guy. Looks like he's from the 70s. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what was appealing about this to people in 1981. But uh, I guess copies sold because uh, The Running Man showed up the year later. Anyway. There is road work. Now we're going to take a look at the UK first edition of Road Work, which is um, my favorite Stephen King book. No, uh, this is what it looks like, and it was published, of course, um, in 1981 by NEL, uh, the co the company that did all of these. Um, Bachman books, uh, and this was, I'm sorry, did I say 81? It was 83. I had to cheat. I had to look. <laughs> 83. So two years after the American one, uh, this came out in the UK. Um, definitely a bit, the artwork is a little bit better than the US. Um, Buddy here looks a little bit like Chuck Norris. Uh, Definitely not as dated, except for the collar on that trench coat. Holy balls, look at that thing. Um, and you do have this uh, kind of 1970s looking cop car there. But other than that, I guess it's slightly more appealing. Um, anyway, this is uh, the British, um, what the British copy looked like. And again, I don't know if there were subsequent printings, but... You can check your copy. There's no statement of printing here, uh, other than uh, first published, first paperback edition, June 1983. Um, so nothing else. If you if you have one that has a printing line uh, or any indication of a, a later printing, then then there you, then that's that. But uh, this is what it looked like, and um, there you have road work. Uh, so hopefully, um, you're collecting it because you want to be a completist and not because you want to read it. I don't know, man, maybe I'm too harsh on this book, but, uh, I just remember thinking it really sucked. UK road work. There's not a whole lot to say about road work because honestly, it is right down there near the bottom of my overall Stephen King list. I'm, I'm not a fan, I know Noah's not a fan either of the book. Um, it, is, it is interesting, historically though, 
um, Stephen King, Stephen King's mother uh, raised Stephen King and Stephen King's brother um, as a single parent after his father um, took off when he was just a little boy. And she scrimped and saved and, and worked hard and didn't have many luxuries in life and uh, supported Stephen King as he was um, pursuing his dreams of becoming a published writer. And she got cancer in in middle age, in her, her 40s or 50s, I'm not exactly sure. And she knew that Carrie was going to be published, but she died before it actually happened. And so all of the paying it back that Stephen King could have done for his mother, after all she did for him, all the things he could have provided for her, all of the comforts, he never got to do any of that, um, or very little of that, because she died um, before he became Stephen King that we know today. But Carrie was published, and um, after he had finished, I, I don't know if he had finished the final draft of Salem's Lot or the first draft, um, he was dealing with his feelings from his mother passing away, his anger and his sort of frustration at the unfairness of it. And that, um, that emotion, that energy went into road work. And here's my um, decidedly less than fancy edition of road work. All of that went into road work. And it is actually kind of interesting after Carrie was published, um, Stephen King's editor said, what comes next? And Stephen King submitted Salem's Lot and Roadwork. And the publisher was generally supportive. Roadwork is a more literary novel. Um, it's interesting, it takes you in a new direction, but I think you should go with Salem's Lot because it'll be a bigger seller. And it, it was really a fortunate decision in hindsight. So Salem's Lot came out, Roadwork went back into the, into the trunk and became the third Bachman book eventually published um, under the pseudonym Richard Bachman. And I try really hard to think, like put my thoughts and feelings into words about why I dislike road work um, so much. It's tedious for one thing. Um, it's, it's very angry the main character, Bart Dawes. I mean, as a fill-in for Stephen King, dealing with dealing with his own emotions about the death of his mother, Bart is dealing with imminent domain. So the city says, we're taking your property, we're gonna build an overpass for the highway, and it's unfair, but sometimes shit happens. Someone gets cancer and passes away, or the city comes to you and says, hey, we're taking your property. We're gonna take the house that, you, that you've that you lived in for two decades, that you raised your kid in, um, that you, you know, you made love to your wife in and you entertained in. We're gonna, we're gonna take it all away and there's nothing you can do about it. But in this case, um, Bart tries to do something about it, but it's not much fun and it's not necessarily very successful. The feeling I got when I read Roadwork for the first time was really one of impotent frustration, impotent rage, just seething inner turmoil and anguish with no real productive outlet. And Bart has been pushed too far. He doesn't want to just accept, yeah, the city's going to take my place. Mm, you know, what are you going to do? You can't fight City Hall. I'll just take take the settlement and, you know, move out like everyone else in his neighborhood. He does a little bit of civil disobedience. He starts some fires. He, he vandalizes some equipment. And then eventually there's a big showdown um, in his house with the police. And, but ultimately it, it doesn't do anything but hurt him. And when it was over, it was just kind of like, eh, well, you know, uh, I guess that's good. He proved some kind of a point. I, I don't know. Um, I think 
Stephen King, he, wrote, he has written two introductions to the Bachman books. And in the first introduction from the 80s, he says that Roadwork is his least favorite of the books because it tries too hard to find answers to the unanswerable issues of life. And then in the second introduction, he says that Roadwork is his favorite. So who knows? But um, the, the Bachman books have generally antisocial negative, pessimistic um, main characters. And whereas the running man is like a runaway train full of action, um, the main character is antisocial, he's negative, he's pessimistic, but it's just a whirlwind ride of action. And you feel the righteousness of his anger and what he's doing. And you can almost cheer for him and pull for him. But in road work, it's just a slog. It's just kind of depressing, and the the right there is no righteousness of the anger. It's self-destructive, and it, it proves nothing in the end. And while it's noble, the idea that Stephen King tried to wrestle with his feelings in his twenties of his mother um, just ridiculously unfairly uh, getting stolen away by cancer in middle age um, it it's maybe it's too personal I don't know it doesn't translate successfully to answering any wrestling with some of life's great mysteries in roadwork it is one of my least favorite Stephen King books it you know there's something there's something going for every Stephen King book I don't think I've read a single one that is completely irredeemable but um, Roadwork is, it's just not much fun. And even though Stephen King can write about some terrible things, he usually, he's, he, he can, he's fun. He's a fun writer. He pulls you in. Um, he can amaze you with beauty and the, the language that he uses. And Roadwork, while it's not a long book, my paperback is less than 300 pages. It it feels longer. It's a slog. It's just not much fun. And while I said I didn't have much to say about road work, um, apparently once I got going, I, I had plenty to say and very little of it is, is good. But we're going through and covering all of the books and road work. <laughs> road work is one of the books. So there you go. Uh, road work. Thank you as always to Noah for showing those amazing first edition copies and thank you to you for watching, for your support, for your comments. Um, I love reading the things that people have to say and responding and um, yeah thanks to you um, for your just for everything and wherever you are I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you later. Bye.